Hey guys, and welcome back to the Better C Sharp series. Today we're going to be talking about static classes, and as you might be able to guess by the namespace, why they are generally bad uh, practice to use, except in very specific situations. Um, so, I've had I've had a lot of experience seeing static classes in many different places that I've worked that did not need to be static, and it's kind of weird that that they've ended up that way. And I think maybe. Maybe it's because, you know, main is a static method and they're just like, let's just get some work done in main and we just need to call all these static methods and stuff. And that's not really the correct way to go. Um, so let's talk about static, static classes. What are they, first of all? So static classes are classes that you cannot instantiate. They'll never be, they'll never be an instance of a static class. There's just the static class and you can call methods. You can kind of think of it as a way to group methods without any instances um, and this is bad for a number of reasons uh, so let's talk about them probably the main one is that you can't have a static class adhere to an interface and even if you could it wouldn't really matter it doesn't make sense to implement an interface for a static class so let's take a look at that first so public interface uh, let's say you know multiplier and we want to say uh, or actually, let's just do, let's do, um, logger, right? We'll say void log and some message. So, and this is the most common one I see as a static class is logging. And I've also seen like data access classes as static as well. Um, but let's talk about it. So let's say you wanted to try and implement this interface in a static class. It doesn't even make sense, but, uh, static class, you know, to be I logger. Um, logger implements iLogger, right? And you'll see we do not implement the interface. So let's try and implement it using uh, OmniSharp. And you'll see we have an error here. Log cannot declare an int cannot declare an instance members in a static class. So static classes can only have static uh, methods and uh, also any kind of members. So why is that important? Um, so if we can't implement an interface and we can try, actually, we can, uh, make this static, right? So we can have a static void log, but it still doesn't implement the interface, uh, because the interface says that it's not static and you, I don't believe you can have, yeah, you can't, you can't have a static, uh, interface method. So it just doesn't make sense because let's think about it. If you had... Why would you need an interface for a static class? So an interface is is uh, C Sharp's way of offering polymorphism, at least the main way. And what does that mean? So that means if you wanted to treat some subclass as this interface, like you pass an instance to that interface, uh, you assign an instance of something to that interface. But static classes can't have instances by their very definition. So that is why you can't implement interfaces with a static class. So, <clears throat> and it doesn't even make sense to, like I said. So why is this bad? Um, this is bad for a number of reasons. Uh, probably the main one is, you know, like we can go with the solid principles, the open close principle. You wanna be able to modify and add features without having to uh, mess with existing code. So open, open, for, mo open for extension, close for modification. Um, right now with this class, like, if we got rid of the uh, iLogger interface and we just had static class logger, which I see all the time, um, how, like in this one, this logger right here, you know, console.write line um, system, you know, message. If we wanted to, instead of writing it to console, what if we wanted to write it to file? Well, in a static class, like, you can't have new like you can't have new implementations, so you'd have to change this one. Like, you'd have to come back to this, you know, class and be like, you know, public static void log to file. And now anywhere you were calling log before, you'd have to call log to file, or you know, you could change this to log to a file. But now you're like, you're messing with existing code and possibly breaking things. So, if this were an interface. Um, you know, public interface I logger with uh, void log string message. 
uh, we could <clears throat> instead, you know, have, you know, console logger and, uh, you know, public class file logger. And we'll implement that using Omnisharp and, you know, write to some file. And then we can change the behavior of the program by using either one or, or the other. And we can, like, add new implementations without messing with the existing ones. So this is all stuff we've already talked about in this series. And this is why static classes are bad. Um, there are reasons to use static classes, and we'll get to those in just a second. But I wanted to go through a quick example. Um, and we're not going to implement this whole thing, but we have, like part of a program here that is properly designed and part of it that's not. So we have these peppers and given two peppers uh, from some pepper provider, uh, breed the two peppers together, determine how hot the breeded pepper would be, um, and then using that uh, Scoville unit scale, determine how to label the breeded pepper. And so like, you know, we've got a pepper provider to get peppers, a breeder to breed them together, and a this doesn't actually need to be there. It's from earlier. Um, and then we have some static class pep pepper labeler that's like, hey, if you if the Scoville units are over 10,000, we're going to label it as hot. Otherwise, we're going to you know label it as mild. Um, but let's say, and you know, we can see this code being used here. Um, yeah, we're just getting the first and second pepper. If they're not there, we're breaking out. Um, we're making a child and then labeling it. Uh, but the issue is here, like, what if, you know, this is in some library, right? And it's not in a console app, I'm just, you know, we're saying it's in some library. And we want a labeler that is more specific for manufacturers. Like, you know, we want to tell them, like, you know, you can sell this. This is, you know, we have more, more specific uh, sets of units that would give back a better label. So, like... You know, instead of just over 10,000 being hot and less being mild, then we could have, you know, different breakouts. Like, what if it's over 500? What if it's over 800? Like, we could have a different, we might want to have a different implementation of this. And if we were forced to do this here, we would have to be like, you know, you know, bull is manufacturer or something like that and give it like a, you know, default value so we don't change any programs. And then we come in here and it's like, you know, if is manufacturer you, you get the point like this is not good we're we're modifying existing code possibly breaking other stuff like this is not the way you want to do stuff um and this is like how you have to do it if your classes are static uh so we want to stay away from static classes so what would we want to do here so i'm going to teach you guys how to refactor this class right now and this is going to be great um so let's go ahead and first take away the static class part right um, and so what you're going to see is, and we're also going to take away the static label. So what you're going to see is we have an error, right? And like to get around, like to refactor, you're going to have errors. You're going to change some code, but this is going to make it more extensible in the future. So, but what we want to do here is we're going to come down here, uh, to pepper labeler and we're going to extract an interface. And this is using OmniSharp. You can do this with Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code. And there we go, there's our interface. Um, and so now anywhere we used Pepper Labeler before, we're just gonna, we're gonna take one in, right? So I Pepper Labeler, Labeler. And we'll just add that to our constructor. And now down here where we used this before, Labeler. So now we've cleaned this code up and now anytime we want to use a specific labeler, we can say new pepper labeler, right? This is, you know, the same behavior we had before, but if we wanted to instead make a new implementation, like, you know, public class uh, manufacturer pepper label maker. I label maker or I what was it? I labeler pepper labeler. <laughs> implement the interface and now we can do a bunch more stuff. So pepper dot scope will 
is uh, you know less than 500 do something else if you know pepper about several units is you know less than a thousand and do something and you know on and on and on so uh, terminal down here to stop the error but so you get the point so this is how you can get away from static classes um so but let's talk about when static classes are good and also uh when you might want to maybe use static methods so there's nothing really wrong with using static methods they're not ever going to be part of an interface though so those are going to be things like um like if you were up here in pepper labeler and you had to call some method, you know, like, you know, call some method, and that method didn't actually interact with any of your member variables, then you could make that a static method. So like, you know, you know, do something. And then, you know, you have like a private static, do something. Void. Um, then that's fine. And, you know, do something doesn't require an instance to be called because it's not using any uh, any of your instance variables. So that's okay. Um, so we, let's talk about when you actually do want to use static classes. Uh, you do need static classes if you're going to be implementing extension methods. So anytime, like if we wanted to add, you know, public static class pepper extension, um, and maybe we wanted to be like, um, you know, string get label this pepper pepper. You know, jalapenos, something like that. Um, now, to do extension methods, you have to have them on a static class. That's just the way it works, and that makes sense because you don't need any instance variables for uh, static for extension methods. Um, so that's one reason you might want them. And then another one is uh, for things where there are guaranteed not to be implementations. And this is a very rare thing. So like the math library or the math class in .NET, right? Like math.absoluteValue. Like you don't need multiple math providers for different absolute values. Um, so that's like one example. It's honestly, they're hard to think of because they're so rare in practice. Um, so, I mean, that should tell you right there that, you know, you don't ever really need it, uh, almost. And, like, what would be the downfall of not having math be static? Like, you could still new up a math and call the thing. So, really, the only benefit is that you don't have to new up an instance to call the methods. And, I mean, that's, honestly, that's just, you know, if you're making things that should not be static, static, just so you don't have to new up an instance, like, you're being lazy. Like, just make it correctly make an interface make an implementation like it's it's going to be good for your programs so uh sorry to call you out if you do that like but that that's just the way i feel about it so <clears throat> um and it sucks like to come behind that and be like okay well i need this to behave a different way now but if i change this i could be breaking you know like you're in a nine hundred thousand line program and you're like well, I have to change the static class now, and who knows what it's going to break instead of just making a new implementation. Like, when I see that, I'm like, no, I got to extract an interface. I got to start using this, like, make everything not static, call that one. And, like, we explained in the refactoring, um, like, that is like my number one thing I do if I have to change a static class. I don't change it, I change it away from being static, and then I make a new implementation. So, that, uh, Maybe you could tell I like get a little bit riled up about this. Like I just see static classes everywhere and it drives me nuts. Um, so that is my opinion on it. Uh, feel free to argue with me in the comments or whatever. Uh, I look forward to that. So um, I hope this has been uh, enlightening though. And uh, I hope you guys will be back for the next time. So I appreciate it. Bye.